Welcome to a special RV renovation video. So today or over the next couple days we are redoing the countertops. I'm doing a marble look so it's just a marble paint that I got from Amazon from Gianni and it literally comes with everything you need down to like gloves and the drop cloths. Just doesn't come with tape so far as all I've noticed but I've got so much tape because we're renovating the RV and taping off things all the time. So I have watched the how-to videos from Gianni on how to do this so many times. I got the kit from Amazon. It's like in and out of stock, so I actually ordered it in October when they had stock of it, and it's now February. So I got it ahead of time, and I think it's like $170 for the whole kit, and like I said, it comes with everything. It says it'll do 35 square feet, and I don't have that many counters. So I'm doing all the counters in the kitchen. It's got the sink pieces that move out, so I have those over there, as well as the bathroom vanity, which we took out just to make it easier to lay the flooring and to paint, so it's literally just sitting here in the slide waiting for me to do the counter. Now the bathroom vanity, I know, is a different kind of top. It's probably just a laminate rolled on to wood, but these countertops are kind of solid, and what it says online is a solid countertop. I have a Grand Design Solitude. It's a 2017. And from what I could figure out at one point, they were Corian, which I don't know what it is, but according to Gianni, I need to sand it down. So like I said, the kit came with everything. So there's a 600 grit sandpaper in there. So yesterday I cleaned with an SOS pad and then I went ahead and sanded all the countertops down, except for the vanity because that didn't need anything. So there's essentially three steps to the whole kit. First you do the primer and then you do another coat of primer which is what I'll be doing today. It needs four hours to dry in between and then I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow doing the paint to do all the marbling and then you spray it with water and kind of stipple it out so we'll cover all that. And then the last step is the epoxy which is what I'm most nervous for. So it's basically a film that self levels and it will solidify the counters. And then after the counters are done, we can move back in, which I'm super excited about. But for now, let's get to the first coat of primer, and it should be easy enough. I've been painting for what feels like weeks, so I think I got it. Okay, so I ended up doing three coats of the primer because after two coats, it didn't look like it was all the way coated and so I just wanted to make sure it was white because really that's kind of it after the epoxy goes on. It's not like it's going to get any whiter. So I'm not sure if I didn't do enough on the first coat or what, but either way we did three coats and now we're going to head on to the marbling. They give you everything in the kit. So we've got the gray veining paint. They give you, you know, a sponge and then what you do is you like draw it on, mist it with water and then like do some stippling, feathering, all that kind of stuff. And then there's also a white highlight paint, which I guess is to give some highlights to part of the marble. So we'll look into that. I think I need to watch the video again. And finally I have my outline of what I want the main veins to look like. And then you add in some other veins, so I don't know. Here goes, so far it looks good with the white, so I think it's going good so far. We will see.
So six hours and a whole lot of anxiety later, the marbling is done. We are now on day three because if you remember, I had to do three coats of the top coat because it wasn't wide enough. It just felt like you could kind of see through on some areas. So I just went ahead and did a third top coat so that extended the whole project out. Overall, I am super happy with the look. I do think that I did the main veins a little bit too dark. So I just went ahead with the kits like white touch up sponge. I went over them and it really did dole them out a little bit even though they still look really dark, but whatever. So I started on the bathroom vanity because no one really cares about the bathroom and I thought if I'm gonna mess up, that's the perfect place to do it. It actually came out pretty good. Adding the ghost veins, the like highlighting veins worked really well. Over there on the entry hutch, I did a little bit too many veins. I got a little carried away. I should have done probably two less or even three less of the main veins and then just done a lot of the ghost highlighting veins. I actually like the ghost veins more because they ended up looking really like marble, so that came out cool. So now it is moving on to epoxy, which I'm pretty terrified about. I watched the video again for like the hundredth time, and so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I have to tape off some stuff, sand down a couple areas that have little raised bumps, but nothing too bad, and yeah, we're gonna head in to the epoxy. day four and it looks so good I love it even with the minor imperfections that I've noticed or that I did so there is a hair in the counter right here which I can see when the right light hits it I can also feel it um, so I can't put anything on them for another day and then it'll take seven whole days for it to cure so I think because of the cats we might not move in until afterwards but they don't climb on the counters anyways I just don't know anyways I rambled but there are some like this counter which is actually my favorite as far as the marbling goes but it has all these like air bubbles and it said to poke them with tweezers but no amount of tweezering was getting them out and they didn't lift themselves out so I really don't know how that happened my only theory is that I poured these both at the same time I did this one first I kind of did this one and then I went back to finish this one and possibly I didn't roll it all out enough I don't really know um, what else? Oh, the tape pulled off all the back. <laughs> like, even some of the fake wood that was there, like, pulled off so you could see cardboard. But it's okay because I'm putting this peel and stick wood here anyway, so it's really not gonna matter, but it's just kind of funny. So, yeah. The epoxy dripped into the stainless steel sink, and I did not anticipate the amount of dripping that was gonna happen. So there's drips here that I'm gonna sand down underneath here. It dripped into the sink, but I already peeled some of it off, so that should be easy to remove with a SOF pad and a little elbow grease. The bathroom actually looks really good. I'm really happy with all of it. It is way better than it was. Overall, super stoked, and now I'm gonna unwrap it all and see how the final product looks. It looks so good. I really love it and it's gonna look really good. There's a few obviously paint touch-ups and I'm adding more details like a backsplash and then the wood there. But oh my gosh, I love it. It is so much better than it was before. In case you forgot, here's what it looked like. 
And here's what it looks like now. So good. 